friends and neighbors. It's your old pal Slap. Ha Ho Jackson saying, you ain't living, not even a smidgen, if you ain't surf fishing. Well, you know, it's been a tough fall season for me. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's been a tough season out there. But anyhow, you know, the last week in October, which was the first week in November, I was out of town that week. And I found out that they were banging big bass down at Robert Moses Field 5. Man, I missed out on it, but I got some footage. I'll show you that. And when I got back, there was nothing but wind and rain and waves and snow even. Snow, you believe it? Oh, let me tell you something. The bad news is, I don't think I'm going to hook into any big fish anymore this year. They seem to be out in deeper water. But the good news is, is there's a lot of schoolies around. So I'm going to go, fish, you know, I'm going to go fishing again right after Thanksgiving. Anyhow, I got a question for you. Where do all the bluefish go? It seems like before the fall run even began, those bluefish were out of here. I caught maybe two cocktail blues the whole fall season. That was it. That was it. They were gone. Well, you know, I want to take this opportunity to wish all of the high hooks out there a very happy Thanksgiving. And that to you, of course, and your family as well. And I have a lot to be thankful for myself. You know, on my YouTube channel, I now have over a thousand subscribers. That's right. And YouTube is rewarding me with a 10-day full vacation in the Florida Keys. That's right, a full vacation for two. Now, I thought about this pretty hard and heavy, and I realized that I couldn't have become this way without the support of my uh, subscribers out there. So, I'm going to be fishing for tarpon and bonefish, and one of my subscribers are going to be fishing right next to me out there in the Florida Keys. So, this is how we're going to do it. I'm going to have the computer generate a, uh, a random number between 1 and 1,006. 1,006 is the total amount of subscribers I have. Now, that computer generated the number 838. And I gave that to YouTube and said, hey, who is my subscriber number 838? Well, at the end of the show, I'm going to let you know, and we're going to be fishing in the sunshine. Anyhow, let me tell you one last thing before I show you the footage about the fishing. And i got to tell you about Saltwater's Tackle. You know, they're a first-class place. They're just a quarter mile east of the Robert Moses uh, Causeway. Uh, they're easy on, they're easy off. They've got a big store loaded with uh, bait, loaded with lures, loaded with service. They are the only Van Stall authorized service center in all of New York State. I needed service. That's where I bring my Van Stall. Why don't you give them a call and stop down there? We'll just take a look at the promo. Hey there, friends. Slap Jackson here for Saltwater's Tackle. You know, they are the only authorized service and warranty center in all of New York State for Van Stall. So if you have a Van Stall reel that needs service or maybe some repair, now would be a great time to bring it by the store. And they repair all the major brands there. Bring your rods, too. They may need some repair as well. Now, if you need some foul weather gear, take a look at the Stormer merchandise they have. Or if you need some nice weather gear, they have a whole host of different tees. So stop by Saltwater's Tackle for all your fishing needs. All right, you're looking at Robert Moses. It's field five. You can see that the uh, ocean is quite agitated. Look at the size of the waves. The wind is blowing from the west like there's no tomorrow. And these brave souls that got out there, they did very well. Uh, take a look at these guys who are walking off the beach just now. Take a look at this. Yeah, all three of them's got to keep a bass there. Well, I'll tell you something. If you could uh, stand the wind in the water, you did very well. All right, so I went to Sunken Meadow. I wanted to check out what the sound was like, and I didn't find anything there. The wind was up pretty heavy on the sound. There was no fish biting for me. So before I left, I figured, you know, let me see if I can get out of the wind and work this little back creek over here. And you could see it, just gorgeous. I fished all around that rock, but I didn't get a hit. All right, we're looking out at Crab Meadow. I'm standing in the creek looking out at Long Island Sound. It's dead low tide. It hasn't moved uh, in or out yet. All righty, now what brings me here, it's just a beautiful place to fish. And today I got very lucky. All righty, a little schoolie striper. Well, it's about time something starts nibbling on my line. Oh, man. Thank you, Lord. All righty. Let's see if there's a couple of more of his brethren out there. I'm not hoping for anybody big, but, hey, I'm glad I'm into action. All right. All righty. Now, that's schoolie number two. I just happened to walk into the right place at the right time, and the schoolies are here, and they are cooperative. All righty. Let's get back out there. All righty. 
I'm doing my best out in this wind, but uh, this is schoolie number 12, and they aren't big, but they're plentiful, and I'm having a wonderful time. All righty, get them back in the water. All righty, this guy's, I don't know, it's hard to say. I got him up against my rod. I don't think I don't think I had one bigger than 24 inches. This is Mr. 19 right here. Let's let him get back in the water. All right, believe it or not, folks, this little rascal is number 24. I can't go wrong. I'm having a great time over here. I forgot all about the wind that's blowing. Well, it's to my back, so that helps a lot. Anyhow, uh, tight lines, my friends, tight lines. All right, now, this is schoolie number 31. Man, I had a great time. One fish after another. Hey, it was just perfect. Most were 16 to 18 inches big. That was it. Maybe I caught a fat boy at 20 inches. That was just about it. But I had a great time there. Oh, man. Hey, listen, the season isn't over yet. I know it's Thanksgiving tomorrow, but uh, there are still schoolies around. So tight lines, my friends. All right, now let's find out, without any further ado, who the winner is for a 10-day Florida vacation for tomping, uh, bone fishing. Oh, man, we're going to have a great time down there. All right, now the winner at number 838 is this young lady, Kathy Lee Holmes. She's from Bayport. Here she is fishing Jones Inlet. I think she's fishing for fluke at this moment. I'm sure you passed her by many a time while you were fishing Jones Inlet yourself. Alrighty, now I want to thank everybody who's been a subscriber to my channel. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. It can't hurt. It can't hurt. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody and to all of yours, a good night.